Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second video in my office wear series. Today's video is gonna be all about how to look stylish on a budget. I just wanna make this clear, everyone's budget is different. Some people's budget might be $500 a month and some people's budget might be I don't know, $1,000 a month. I am not here to tell you what is expensive and what is inexpensive. I'm just here to help guide you stay within your own personal budget. For some people, a pair of $30 trousers might be a steal and right, right in their budget. And for some people, $200 trousers might be, you know, in their budget and something that they would purchase. So um, just use these tips and kind of cater towards your own budget and your own um, monthly spending. I don't know what your dress code is for work, so I'm just gonna show you some things that are in kind of a business casual sense. You know, a lot of you guys can't wear open-toed shoes and a lot of you have really strict dress codes, so this is just kind of me showing you what I used to wear whenever I worked in more of a business casual office. So getting into the tips, I actually read a study, actually a few studies online that said you should spend no more than 5% of your salary on clothing. Something you know you have to follow, you don't have to spend any, any a month on clothing if you wanna save your money and then do like one shop for work clothes at the beginning of each season, that's totally fine too. I just kinda of wanted to share that with you because people always ask me how much they should set aside for clothing. So I did research and it says no more than 5%. Tip number one is become friends with your tailor. You know, if you are on a budget and you found this really great pair of pants on sale, but they're just like two inches too long, get them. Like if they fit you great everywhere else, get them, take them to the tailor, but don't forget to add that into your budget. I always set aside um, a little bit of money each time I go shopping to not hit my budget because I know I'm probably gonna have to get something tailored. If you love something and it's a great deal, you know it's gonna be an easy fix. Like getting the waist taken in a little bit or just getting a couple of inches off the bottom. Spend a little bit of money on the tailor. You will be so happy you did because you can rewear them over and over. My next tip is to not over purchase your accessories. It means whenever you are out shopping for work clothes, you don't need to buy 10 necklaces 10 bracelets, 10 tote bags. Save that for your actual clothes that you're gonna be wearing. First of all, no one's paying attention to, you know, if you're wearing a different necklace today, if you're carrying a different bag today. So I would just kind of have your signature necklace and your signature ring and your signature tote bag for work. So put your budget towards your bigger appearance items. Does that make sense? Bigger appearance items? Such as like blazers and trousers and tops and even shoes. Moving on to the next tip kind of relates to the previous tip. So with that being said, when you are ready to invest a little bit more money into certain pieces, a lot of people always say, you know, invest in your basics like blazers and trousers. And that's, that's great. Everyone has their own opinions, but I have amazing blazers from Zara and Topshop that I've had for like seven years and that are super great fitting and just amazing. So I always say invest in a really nice bag. You know, whether you're, you wanna save up and invest in a really nice Prada tote or something a little bit less expensive like C by Chloe or you know, something even less than that. I will say that a designer handbag will always make your outfit look a little bit more expensive. The next thing I would invest in is a really nice pair of shoes, something that's comfortable. I do have comfortable heels from like Steve Madden and from smaller designers from like Nordstrom, but I do think a really great pair of black pumps is a really great item to invest your money in. And just FYI, um, Vivian Liu makes a really great high heel insert if you guys are uncomfortable in your heels. My next tip is to rotate your trendy items in with your classic items. And I know you're like, how does that save me money? So. I always like to purchase multiple uh, printed tops or bright tops and then rotate your same basic um, staple pieces around it. So you could literally do the same pair of trousers Monday through Friday. I don't recommend doing this, but you could do your same trousers Monday through Friday, alternating a different top out, different shoes, um, a different blazer, and your outfit would look completely different. So don't go crazy buying, you know, five pairs of black trousers. You really only need one or two to alternate during the week. My next tip is 
a little silly, but it has worked for me in the past. A lot of us forget what is in our closet. My closet starts out super organized on Monday, and then by Friday, after I've pulled 100 things for shooting, crammed it back in there, it is no longer the closet that it was on Monday. Things get lost and things get stuck behind, things fall on the floor, so what I like to do is every time I create an outfit that I love, I snap a picture and put it in an OOTD folder in my phone. That way when you are getting ready for work and you've got your, you know, one basic piece on and you're like, I don't know what to wear, go through your folder and be like, oh, I wore that a couple of weeks ago, totally forgot about that top, I'm gonna go find that. That way you're kind of keeping tabs on everything that's in your closet. Um, and all the outfits that you put together. When you are out shopping and you see a really pretty yellow top that you love, you can look through your folder and be like, oh, I actually already have a yellow top. There is no need to purchase this and have two yellow tops. That can kind of keep you on budget and that can kind of keep you from buying the same thing over and over. Next is to purchase pieces that you can wear on duty and off duty. If I see a really cool blazer, I always try to make sure that I can dress it up and dress it down. Is this gonna be appropriate for meetings? And is this also gonna be appropriate with jeans and sneakers on the weekend? I get like pencil skirts you probably are not gonna be reusing on the weekend, but um, your statement pieces like blazers and fun pants, I always try to make sure that they have multi-purposes and that I know I'm not gonna be wasting my money just wearing them once every two to three weeks. Is to stick to one color palette. Um, you know, if you have a really good thing going in your closet of camels and creams and whites and neutrals, and you see this really cool like gray and green top, you can't really push this into your wardrobe. So there's really no need to buy this top because you probably won't be wearing it as much as you thought. If you stick to one color palette, adding some blush pink in there or just whatever you prefer, it will keep you from over buying just random colors and random. And with that being said, camel always looks a little bit more expensive. Camel and neutrals always look expensive. And I know a lot of us have a lot of black items Camel and neutrals go great with black, so you can definitely tie the two in. They just mix colors really well. You know, you can do white pants and a camel top or vice versa, um, add a dark brown in there, add a blush pink in there, so I think that color palette really, really looks nice. I think prints in that color palette look nice as well. Next, when you are shopping, try to stay away from department stores. Really try to shop at stores like Target, TJ Maxx, Century 21, Nordstrom Rack is one of my favorites, Saks Off Fifth. You aren't gonna be having the newest collection, but you are gonna be getting this same exact brand for a much more discounted price. Thrifting is also a really great option as well. I know when I lived in Texas, there was this one thrift store that had like designer, blazers and designer clothes for like 40 bucks. So, you know, if you can find a really good thrift store that you can visit every now and then, chances are you will find some really good stuff in there. And there's always shopping online. I would try to sign up for as many coupon grabbing emails, subscriptions as you can. Um, Shop Tagger is really great. Retail Me Not is really great. And shop on Poshmark. That's kind of like thrifting, but online. Because a lot of stores, if they're having promotions online, chances are they'll match it for you in store, but sometimes that's not always the case. So I much prefer to shop online anyways, because you can always find a coupon code. Usually like 90% of the time I can find some sort of coupon code. And one bonus tip is nails. Oh my gosh, I took my gel off the other day and they look horrendous. I can't believe I just like flashed them to the camera. So I always think that a good manicure always makes you look more put together and a little bit more nice and definitely professional. The quickest time saving thing is to always get a gel manicure because it lasts longer. I mean, it, it does. It just lasts a lot longer than nail polish. So I recommend getting the at home system. Um, Sally Hansen, was it Sally Hansen? Yeah, Sally Hansen has a really great gel and nail system that they use. And I actually tried it a few weeks ago and my manicure stayed for two weeks and it looked great. If you are a gel person, then definitely invest in something like that. That way you're not spending, you know, 50 plus dollars every couple of weeks to get a new manicure. You don't have time to go get your nails done. You don't have time to sit down and do the whole gel thing. Definitely like pick one day out of the week to just completely redo your nail polish. Even if it's in good condition, chances are the next couple of days it's gonna start chipping. Side little bit of time during the week to just give your nails a fresh coat of paint. All right, those are my tips and I hope you loved them. Don't forget to sign up for the Life by Her Lookbook. The March issue goes out on the first. Oh my gosh, it's coming up so close. But we've got a few pages of office wear. 
um, talking about more versatile pieces and trousers and um, some really, really informative stuff when it comes to office wear. So we recently added in the last couple of months, we added um, beauty and health and fitness to the magazine. So even if you're not into fashion, chances are you're gonna find something that you can relate to in the magazine. But I will put the link here as well as in the description box below, so go check it out. Um, no commitment, you can just read up on it and see what the deal is. Let me know, you guys seem to really like this, the office wear series so cool it made me so happy so let me know what video you want to see next when it comes to office wear and staying stylish in the office i will see you guys next time bye